So I wanted to do a video for your training Tuesday about canine body language. Um, I feel like this is just a this is just a topic that can go on forever, honestly. Um, I watched a disturbing video this morning of a famous YouTube dog trainer who was reinforcing bad behavior from their dog who was clearly scared and nervous and giving all the signals like get me out of here um, at a dog park. So I wanted to kind of take a video of my personal dogs and start listening body and language. Uh, so this is Subaka and Fonse. This is just like a short clip of everyone playing this morning. This is our morning routine. Uh, Fonse does not want to engage in play. So you see the little bit of the jerky where the head is turning and not the full body. Usually that is a stress, right? Like, hey, I'm not comfortable with that. Same with Goon. Did you see the snaps? The quick movement is a snap and a tongue flick. Usually stress. Hey, I want you to back off. Now let's look at the body language. So Goon and Sabaka's play suck. They have the worst play signals in the world. Um, look at Fonse's hackles. Fonse's trying to avoid, avoid, avoid because Fonse knows like, hey, like mom's going to intervene. I intervene, right, and back Goon off. Um, you see you're avoiding eye contact. It's just a little bit of like, hey, hey, like I'm not trying to challenge you. So I intervene and made Goon back off. Dogs that sniff the ground or shake off, like, you know, when they get wet, they'll do that shake off. Well, they'll do it during play as well. Or sniffing the ground is like, hey, I need a timeout. It's a break and it's a time for them to decompress and gather themselves. All right. So I'm causing stress with why I walked up to why you see the tongue flicks, you see her tense up and everything. That is the dog that's telling me to back off. All right. Um, Tail wagging. Everyone always thinks tail wagging means like, hey, my dog is uh, super happy. Not always. Um, you'll see like dogs with hackles <laughs> raising their tail wagging. You'll see dogs barking with their tail wagging. It does not always equal, hey, I'm a happy dog. Let's look at Rue's tail. Rue's tail. Rue is not a fan of the puppy. So you can see it in her body language, kind of slinky, making herself small and her tail is low right? So tail positioning is huge. Be aware of that. You'll actually see Waya flag her tail when she gets up here once the puppies start annoying her. Um, here, Waya is trying to do avoidance. Dogs are really good at like trying to just ignore the problem. Um, Ian is trying to self-soothe herself, right? Kind of decompressing. Um, the puppies are just being puppies now. Again, you see Fonse trying to avoid any kind of contact with Goon. Goon's the shepherd. Goon is doing some submissive, like a little bit of the nose going towards the lip. Look at that tail on Waya. Waya's tail is up. Dogs that typically have high tails in a play group, I have to watch them. They're my troublemakers. Uh, Sabaka's tail is more neutral. Um, that is what I'm really looking for a dog. That dog is um, pretty uh, confident in themselves and handling the situation well. All right, so happy play or neutral play or good play is a dog that will alternate, right? So one dog does not always need to be chasing the other dog or one dog does not always need to be on top and hold the pin the other dog down. Um, that is not neutral play. That dog is being a bully. Neutral play is when the dogs are alternating. So you see Sabaka chase Goon, now Goon's chasing Sabaka, right? Um, so right. making sure that the dogs alternate. <laughs> Again, if one dog is doing always the chasing or pinning down, that dog's being a bully. Um, so clearly a video one. Um, so I hope this was like just a quick blip it of like just how much body language there's so much I missed too. I was just trying to keep up with the video. Um, how much body language that your dog gives uh, constantly to kind of tell the other dogs around them and what's going on and how they're feeling. They're constantly giving back feedback on how they're feeling and where their emotional state is. Um, hope this was a little bit eye opening. Maybe I'll take a longer video. Uh, I'll take a longer video with a uh, better body language. So thanks for watching.